Hey guys, what's going on? It's Yoanti. I'm here with wide receiver Julio Jones of the Atlanta Falcons. We're going to ask him a few questions today. I know you broke your foot last season. I'm curious how the recovery has been getting back. I mean, it's going great, man. It's going great. You know, um, just one day at a time. You know, and, uh, just, just that whole process has been killing me because I haven't been able to run, jump. You know, it's the longest period of my whole life. You know, that I haven't been able to go out there and run and, you know, and do all the things I love. You. And now that you're back in action and you've got the sneakers on, what are, what are some of the features you look for in, in a performance sneaker? Well, just comfortability at first. You know, I was being, being able to just go out there, you know, and just. You know the shoes are gonna hold up. You know they're not gonna wear down quick. You know because a lot of shoes out there. You know um, people make a lot of shoes and they wear down. And your feet get to slide around in the shoes and stuff. And it's, it's not very comfortable. Really. You know, but you know the shoes that have on the clutch right now. You know they be real good. They be real tight fit. You know, and um, as what I've been doing today, just you know just moving around a little bit. It's been Who's your favorite cornerback to play against in the NFL? All of them. All of them. All of them. Uh, you know, it's just, just, the, it's just the competitive side of me. You know, going out there and um, just a different challenge yeah. every game, game in the game out. You know, but in the NFL, you know, I was talking to uh, an agent last night. You know, uh, you really just don't play the cornerback. You got to play the whole defense. You know, uh, especially at this level, you play. You know, the front seven is, is a big, big, big part of the cornerback. Uh, you know, how well he's going to be. And is there one specific player that you think is one of the better cornerbacks in the league? I mean, there's a lot of guys out there that's pretty good, you know I mean? Everybody talks to uh, Richard Sherman, you know, the real Reeves. A lot of these guys, I haven't played against the real Reeves, but, you know, I mean, never speak. You know, well, Sherman got great numbers, you know. Uh, Reeves got the numbers, Chamber, you know, Patrick Peterson, you know, this goes on. And we know Under Armour has that clutch fit. I'm curious, do you have a clutch moment so far in your NFL career? Um, not really, you know, I mean, I, I get the ball a lot on third down, so like that's a good real clutch down, you know, to keep the back going and, you know, get a new fresh uh, set of downs. Yeah. You know, they throw the ball you know, quite a bit on third down, you know, and I, nine times out of ten, I, I use the break. So. so Marquise Lee is here, and uh, he's about to enter the NFL draft, maybe taken to the first round. I'm curious what type of advice you have for him uh, to prepare for this. Just keep an open mind, man. Um, like my situation when I came out, you know, they didn't know where I was gonna go. You know, you know, I was lucky enough to you know the track uh, the fact to trade it up for me at six. But um, just keep an open mind, man. Don't have your mind set on one team or where you wanna go because at the end of the day you don't wanna be disappointed. You know, you're like, okay, everybody's telling me I'm gonna go here, then you go to the other team and then you don't wanna put in the effort and work hard, you know. So you just gotta keep an open mind. Just, you know, the opportunity man, just go out there and have fun. Just enjoy it. It's, it's a life experience. You'll never forget. What are some of your favorite songs on your iPod right now? Who are you listening to? Um, Rick Ross, with, uh, War. Uh, the uh, Mastermind just came out. You know, I listened to that. Um, I listened to the Migos, um, Johnny Seco, some um, local artists in Atlanta. I know recently you, you got rid of the dreads. I'm curious how that was. Kind of, do you ever reach back and, and they're gone? Do you have that, that, that oh, I, I regret doing that? Or are you, you happy with the, the new do? I'm, I'm happy, you know. Um, it's just, you know, you gotta grow. You know, um, I had those dress when I was, you know, coming out of high school, going through college. And, you know, this is another phase of my life. So I was like, you know, I just need to be a man, and, you know, just grow up. Not disrespect, you know, you know, talking down on nobody that has a dress, you know, but, you know, they're just, for my opinion, you know, I just want to, you know, just change it up. Like I said, just the next chapter of my life. And then, you know, I wanted to, to go into it and make it a different way. Yeah, a lot of people tell me I should shave my beard, but I just don't think I'm ready to let go yet. Well, don't let it go, yeah. <laughs> I, let it go. I've got the Rick Ross thing working myself. Oh, yeah. That's good, man. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we appreciate your time, and uh, good luck this season. Thank you. All right, great. All right.